Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Spiritual Readiness in the Time of the Shift. Um, this is the first video I'm doing post WESAC celebration, which was on May 17, 18, and 19th. Hallelujah. Glory be. Mission accomplished. We did it. And uh, part of the journey for me has been 5,000 years in the making, which was the first time as a soul stream, uh, starseed soul stream, I incarnated in on Earth, trying to accomplish what happened during the fire ceremony that we did on um, May 18th. Uh, and the issue was that the real work, the grounding of this higher vibration and frequency is not a solo act. I had to get and cultivate a relationship, a trusting and loving relationship with the collective of pe people and train them in a very specific way so that they, can, they could actually help ground with me this higher frequency. I have a group of students out of New York uh, where I teach uh, that have been working with me for over 10 years and I was able to uh, guide them into the fire ceremony where we, were, we became the vessel or the land. Uh, what do I mean by this? I mean, we worked for over 10 years in removing uh, the darkness that exists within us. Uh, this is deep emotional intelligence work to acknowledge the flaws in our spiritual psychology that cause the emotional triggers that are constantly popping off and causing us to derail. We've resolved enough of it so that we can now move into phase two of this work, which is spiritual intelligence. Cultivate a relationship with higher emotions. Because intellectually speaking, you may understand what compassion is, what mercy is, or what love is, but do you viscerally truly feel it true and true in your body? And because we did this work, we were assisted and met halfway by celestial energies, I specifically at the full moon in Taurus, which was on May 18, around that fire, and we were able to ground and anchor into the earth for the first time in 31 million years, a frequency and the vibration that the earth has not seen since 31 million years ago. It's extraordinary. Now, what I feel right now is that, and this is true of all the people that were there, I feel connected with the power. And I mean by that, if I didn't do all the work in emotional intelligence that I did to subdue my own darkness and shadows, they would automatically begin to pop off and cause all kind of chaos. One of the things that connection to power is giving me, because I've been working on emotional intelligence for the past five years, is that it has given me wisdom and I have to, uh, 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 you know, and with that great power came great responsibility. Now I'm going to turn this around and bring it home for many of you who are watching me because for a lot of you, what I've said so far is like um, a story, uh, uh, a movie, okay? And it, 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 it doesn't connect maybe to you. Maybe it resonates with your soul, but it doesn't really connect to you. What has happened to the earth since WESAC happened? The Schumann resonance, which is the heartbeat of the planet, it's a pulse and a vibration that is released from the earth that all other beings on earth are uh, connected and linked to that exist on earth, including all the vegetable and the animal kingdom. Everyone is connected to it. It is typically around eight hertz per second, okay? The Schumann resonance since May 30th has been measured spiking at 84 hertz per second, okay? It means that right now, you may have moment of being extremely ecstatically happy and joyful, connecting to an energy that you have never felt before, and going into immediately afterward, deep, profound depression, fear, 
panic attack. Some people have experienced even their inner core, like they're shaking, but not in the exterior, in the inside. Something inside of them is shaking. Uh, and lack of sleep, uh, uh, all of these symptoms have been reported because of this. And the reason for this is that these great souls who may have intellectually committed themselves to ascend and to achieve uh, uh, a planetary uh, enlightenment have not done the same kind of dantian, deep, soulful, and profound work that we, meaning the small group of 12 around me, have done. And why did we do this? Because that energy at 84 hertz and higher frequency of higher densities cannot come in unless there is their land or there are vessel who are prepared to ground it into this earth. And because we did this work, we are the first earth chakra to have held this energy. And because we did this, and because we prepared our vessel for it, we grounded it. And once we grounded it, now the rest of the planet can experience it. Because the frequency, it's not, the frequency would pass through. Now, Scientists are saying it's coming from the sun, it's coming from cosmic energy, we're in different areas, and all of that is true. But none of it would have ever grounded in us if a group of volunteers would not have done this. Now, would we be able to cover the entire Earth? Absolutely not. Meaning the 12 of us are not enough. There needs to be a collective of 144,000 for all of us, for the entire, for humanity in general to be rescued because it's a collective rescue. It's not just, just something that, that, that one person or two people or 12 people can do. It's 144,000 or more. And because of this, there is a tremendous urgency that this collective be trained. I have the mechanics and I'm willing to share it. I have a group on Facebook called the Wisdom Council and I'm and I'm, and I'm literally giving it for free to everyone, anyone who wants to do the real work. So the, the, the possibility exists that we can elevate. And the other sidebar that I should mention as well is that a lot of people, because of the panic attack and the fears and so on and so forth, are leaving the planet. They're dying. Because the frequency is so high and so terrifying, they don't... They, they, the, the differential between where they are, because if, they are, if the pulse of the earth is eight hertz per second, that means the average person must be four hertz per second or below. And their differential from there to 84 is so high that they don't know how to get there. And many people just give up and begin to leave the planet. I'm trying to be as clear as possible. I hope that you're getting my point we achieve something major. And I'm willing to share my knowledge and everything else that I've accumulated over the past 5,000 years to anyone who's interested. It's the Wisdom Council on Facebook and my website, uh, i leave the link for that below if you're interested in any private services or coaching or, or counseling that may lead to this. I'm also doing a workshop uh, coming up um, on um, June 20, uh, uh, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, up in the Catskills of New York at the Garaville Retreat Center to uh, take, because a lot of us are souls, uh, star seed souls. We're not from here, our soul initially, we're from different races and species. When a call was sent out for us to come and try to rescue humanity, and many of us came down, but when you incarnate on earth, you have to let go of so many things that you begin to have amnesia. You have partial remembrance of who you are. During that workshop, I will take people back into, uh, I think it's the Pallades, um, Andromeda, and the sun. And we will be able to help people remember who they were. And so that they are, uh, it will give clarity for your purpose. It will help you understand who you are and it will bring you back full, complete memory of your. It's a journey. Every day we will go to a different stargate. But that journey will not happen um, uh, with any kind of medicine, drug, or anything else. 
All I need to do is to inflate my own energy field and put it around you at the Gaia Field Retreat Center where there is a dimensional portal and you will go back in time and in space and you will remember. Do join us. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I could talk for another hour and, and chat with you and give you uh, additional information, but do reach out to me. Uh, love to hear from you. Uh, please like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Talk to you very soon. Thank you.